This year, our first guests, listen to this, Paul. Our first guests made more money than Bruce Springsteen or Frank Sinatra put together. What? Yep, that's, that's right. <laughs> yes, and Frank what? Sinatra put together. Uh, starting this Friday, for three weeks, they will be performing at Radio City Music Hall right across the street. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to the masters of the impossible, Siegfried and Roy. And, and who is, you have another one here. It's Siegfried and, and Roy and... Yes. And... Red, white, and blue. Uh, hi. <laughs> Couldn't how, you figure that out? Yeah. <laughs> and he's leaving. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. What uh, do we have here? This is blue. Uh -huh. It's a male a white tiger yeah. who has been born in Japan on our world tour. Oh, really? And... Uh, Are they safe to, to play with? Yeah, so sure they are. Yeah. They're Americans. <laughs> oh, now, he, this one seems a little sk skittish. <laughs> is it our, I don't... I, 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I would rather he didn't. I don't. Ah, yeah! <laughs> okay. That's all right. Take this one. No, okay. no, 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 yeah, no, give no, me no, another no, one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like okay. gum. Chew one up, spit it out. Uh, and and uh, I, I see. I, I worry that this he's going to do the same thing. So maybe maybe you guys, since you know the animals, could. Ah, all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> will will they be all right there? Well, sure they are. Sure. Okay, fine. No, I'll just they I'll that. just have a seat then. That's right. Just feel right. comfortable. Uh, they how uh, how is uh, how is the big world tour going? <laughs> well, the world, the world tour was fantastic. Uh -huh. uh, we were 11 months in Japan and on uh, in now Tokyo. You, you, and <laughs> See, now did I caution, you guys are the animal experts, did I say they're gonna topple off of it? No one can take him home, you know? They all but belong to Radio City how, Music Hall now. How old are the, the little kitties but now? They're two months old, they were born on the 4th of July, and that's July. been named red, him red, white, and blue. Uh, yeah. white yeah. and blue. And, uh, and are these rare animals? Yes, they are. They're actually, the white tiger is already extinct in the wild. Now, only a handful. In comparison to the panda bear, it was like 1,200 around there, just a hundred around now, of this When one. you guys are, are working, how many different jungle animals do you have on stage with you well, for the whole show? Yeah. We have tigers, lions, panthers, leopards, uh -huh. 27 uh, jaguars, exotic cats. cats, and of cats, uh, so 28 all together, but we have a lot more of two-legged cats too, <laughs> I know, see. which I feel safer with this, guys. Uh, yeah. uh, now, oh. I notice you have a little, a little uh, thing there, a little, like a little somebody got you there. Now, was got that caught done by shaving. A, no. Uh, was that no? done by a cat? Well, you know, Lynette Chappelle, the female lead in our show, sometimes she's real tough as me. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> but have, have you ever had any problems with the animals? No. Uh, actually, uh, I'm pretty much in tune with them and be having a good time when you will see our show at Radio City Music Hall. I mean, we are disappearing, we are reappearing, we right. get shut out of cannons. And, uh, but, but do you guys, are you experts in animal behavior? Do you know how to, to yeah, work with them us. and train they, them? They I mean, live you with us. They're part of our family. Yeah. Uh, we share everything together. Uh, it took us four 747s to actually to come back to New York. And, really, and to bring all bit. of your animals and all of the equipment yeah. for the... 48, 48 trucks from the airport right to here, 48 trucks. Yeah. So when people go to see the show at Radio City, they're seeing all of that equipment packed Everything. into that huge yes. facility over there? Yeah. As you know, David, we performed now for 20 years in Las Vegas, and it's the first time we went out. We okay. left Las Vegas, and we started in Tokyo. We performed uh, for over a million in, in Japan. Were the, the Japanese very uh, excited about Fantastic. this? Fantastic. Yeah. We had uh, embraced us, a great audience. They loved us, and... Uh, uh, Not only the geisha girls were invited, also Madame Butterfly. I mean, the whole country was fantastic for us. And we brought a lot of good memories home for them. Right. The only thing what I don't want to do anymore is eating sushi. No more, no no more. sushi. <laughs> That's it. Okay. You know, a good steak does it. All right. And, uh, and, and, and when we get uh, back, we're going to uh, get any more animals? Well, maybe uh, not. We'll be. We'll find out. Uh, okay. we'll, we'll find out. I'm. I'm Dave. This is Siegfried. This is I'm Roy. Roy. Ah, good. Uh, now, uh, how did you guys uh, uh, start working together? What What did you do before you were Siegfried and Roy? Well, we have been uh, in the hotel business, and I was bartender. I was on the ship, steward mm -hmm. on the ship, and that's where we met uh, mm -hmm. Roy, on the Bremen. Uh, that's about 30 years ago, and when we crossed the Atlantic from Bremerhaven to New, uh, New York, and our first thing was 
course, Pure 88, walk up right. 48th Street and walk uh, into the Radio City Music Hall. We got very excited and a dream started. And, yeah. and now, after all these years, now we are there. And, and did, did you travel on the road with this show and building it gradually and then work your way into Las Vegas or did you start in no, Las Vegas? First, first of all, we had uh, an act uh, starting on the, on the ship and then the somebody saw us and uh, made a command performance uh, for Prince René in Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. And from there we went to the Lido in Paris. Mm -hmm. And then in Lido in Paris, uh, somebody saw us again from Las Vegas and they gave us this, a three months contract. Mm -hmm. And you went there and you've been there virtually nonstop yeah, ever right. 20 years, years now. Yeah. And, and yeah, it's like the it's big show to see in Las it's Vegas. Exactly it what would happens. be you, Wayne Newton, and that would be it, right? Right, <laughs> boy, yes. But, but for How a long, did he get into for that? Time, he, he was like the big deal, and now it's you guys, right? Well, uh, well I don't know. We, we have some biggies in Vegas, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah. You but, know, and you make huge sums of money there, don't you? Who says so? Well, you, you got, I mean, you, I mean, geez, kitty litter alone is going to cost you <laughs> millions. Right, in, right, that's the way to spend it. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, what is what is the jungle land? That's where you live? Is that the... Well, we have a place where we the live together. The jungle palace? What is it called? That's what the people call it, the people what, what of Las call Vegas. It? Well, it's our this home. This is our home, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we share with the animals because they're part of our family. Yeah. They're part of our surroundings, and we figure they should live as good as we live. What about the stench, having all those cats in that place? Is it... <laughs> Do you have a lot of property, though? It's about yeah. 58 acres. And how many animals? We have all together 28. Oh, and yeah. an elephant, you know. An but you, mu you must have a, a staff taking care of them and vets and so forth on call. We yeah. have the best in the business. Yeah. and uh, Take very good care of the animals. Excellent. Sure. Yeah. That's the first property. Yeah. I mean, if you have a happy and a healthy animal, you can perform mm -hmm. full, full. And that's what we do and here. And also, the our illusions. We design the illusions basically around the personality of mm -hmm. the animal. So whatever they do, they're very happy of doing. Well, this was an amazing course, illusion. Of course, blows, blows them the music right out of it, you know. I mean, they think they have to act. Uh, yes. Oh, what? I what did you do, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> How did he get into the act, right? Uh, and and, 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 and you're, you're going to show us, so you have a, a trick for us here? Well, uh, listen, um, yeah. unfortunately, your studio is so small, yeah. you know. So, yeah. Such a tiny studio. Oh. Oh. The elephant, unfortunately, it wouldn't fit in here, right. but it wouldn't help you anyway. I have something much better for you. You know, um, my first trick, the first trick, what I did, my first attention, what I get from my father, I want to show you. Okay. And not only show you, I think I'm going to teach you the trick. You okay. have a family at home, you have friends sure. and so you Friends and them. family. I have That's both. That's going to be competition. Well, <laughs> friends and family. And so it happens. I have two salt shakers. Salt shakers. Salt. And Recently stolen. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, even the price tag is on. Now, what you do is, um, a salt is always, in ancient time, it was right. always used... Okay, a little blood here, I'm sorry. Man, what it's is going on here? Used. Where did that come put from? You, Where did you, you use that? Show? Use that, put it in your, uh, your hands, just right. like this. And he pushes over. A little over? Right. Yes. You know, okay. that keeps all the evil spirit away. Mm. <laughs> Not a minute too soon. All the evil spirit away. <laughs> okay. Wish, now wish what I you had do? this for rehearsal. Put the salt shaker in your right hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like this. Okay. And pour the salt in your left hand. Left fist. Right. Okay, just like this. No, no, like this. Fist. Okay, like that. Okay. Then you put the salt shake on the table. Now, will a tiger no, no, come no, leaping no. in here? Now? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, that's enough. That's enough, that's, that's enough, that's enough. enough. Of course, okay. blood pressure and then all, you have you, to be very careful. Uh, then you make a magic movement, just like this. Mm -hmm. You blow against it, and the salt, of course, is disappeared. That's right. <laughs> of course, the salt is disappeared. Wow! All right. Now, what you do is, what you do, of course, the salt, you can bring it back uh, right from there. Yeah, on on it's one, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh, there you go. Uh, unbelievable. Oh. That's the kind of thing you'll see on the great stage at Radio no, City no, Music Hall. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's my first trick. Um, that I was get the my very first, first attention one. from my father, yeah. and the first time he said, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. It's very simple how you do it. Right. Okay. When you pour the salt in your left fist, mm -hmm. just do it again, all right? All right. Like that. Okay. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Paul, can you illustrate a running salt, please? <laughs> <laughs> running salt. Okay. When okay. you make the magic, magic, movement, magic movement, okay, right. and you blow against it. Right. Blow against it. The only descending. thing what you have to do, just push the salt in your left sleeve, just like this. Simple, and right? It goes down your sleeve. Yeah, but uh, watch out. Right. Don't hold your arm too high. <laughs> 
because then the salt runs down here right. and it comes out comes on the out other over side. There. It's unbelievable, right. ladies and gentlemen.